Salutations, respected viewers. This is George from Ireland. Here I am in Richmond upon Thames. Um, if you have ever worn a poppy around Remembrance Sunday, you might wonder where it's made. And they're manufactured here at Yon Poppy Factory just behind me. So, what's the origin of these poppies? Well, there was a um, Canadian Army doctor called John McRae uh, who wrote a poem. And my goodness, I, I can't uh, quote it accurately, saying, um, uh, We are the dead, here we lie beneath the sky in Flanders fields amongst poppies row and row, and things like that, saying, um, asking the people to carry on the fight, uh, saying, Otherwise, we shall not sleep um, in Flanders fields, and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, throwing forth the challenge, those who survived during the war carry on and fight till, till victory. And John McRae was indeed killed in the war shortly before the end of hostilities. Um, because uh, certainly for the Western Allies, the key battles were in Northern France and in Belgium, and uh, poppies grow plentifully and wild there. They're not heroin poppies or opium poppies rather, at least red ones. So um, Earl Haig, he was a field marshal in the British Army, Earl being an, a noble title, it's not his name, his name was Douglas. Um, so he set up the um, um, Earl Haig Fund after the Second World War to try and raise money. Because uh, remember 800,000 British soldiers and sailors were killed in the war and um, uh, over double that number were wounded. Now some of them were permanently disabled. They would have, say, disfiguring scars on their face. They might have been blinded, deafened. They had to have limbs severed. Some of them um, were paralyzed from the neck down. Some of them had horrific burns. Many of them suffered psychological trauma and psychiatric illness uh, as a result of their gas experiences in the First World War. So Earl Haig set up a fund to provide for the welfare of these soldiers, for the widows and the orphans and so on of the war. Um, so we know that uh, the cessation of hostilities was on the 11th of November, 1918. And there, thereafter, Remembrance Sunday is the nearest Sunday to the 11th of November. I think this past year, it actually was the 11th of November. Remember, only one year in seven does the 11th of November happen to be a Sunday. Uh, so people were to buy these things. There's no price, they just donate what they can, and they might wear it in their lapel. They might put it on their um, car. Uh, they have special car size ones, their T-shirts, lots of things you can buy and they're sold on the street or they're sold in pubs and restaurants, wherever, to raise funds. And obviously it's not just for the First World War, it's all conflicts subsequently in which the United Kingdom has been a belligerent. Um, so that's the Earl Haig Fund. And uh, Field Marshal Douglas Haig, he refused to accept any gong, any um, noble title like Earl, until something was done for these soldiers. So he was eventually ennobled. I know Haig is a controversial figure. Some people think he was dread dreadful, he was callous, casualties were too high, and he was mutton-headed, all the rest of it. You can't say it was a poltroon, at least. And this cavalry officer was fighting a 19th century war. Anyway, that's by the by. So this is where they're made, and they're, they're on sale the last fortnight of um, October and into November. They're first of all made available to politicians and like journalists, like newsreaders, because it'd be a real faux pas not to be seen wearing them. Some people don't approve. Um, it was uh, John Snow, the Channel 4 newscaster, who said he disliked poppy fascism. Well, I think totalitarianism might be, a, might be a better thing. And then some people who support the pacifists, conscientious, conscientious objectors who say, no, I refuse to kill. It was right of those people to refuse to kill under any circumstances. They wear a white poppy um, instead for COs, conscientious objectors. These people who were abused as conscies in the First World War for refusing to fight. So that's where the poppies are made and that's what they um, are all about. Uh, I know in the United States, for example, it's Veterans Day, 11th of November. There, there aren't the poppies, but it's similar. In some Commonwealth countries, people are still wearing poppies. In the Republic of Ireland, where I hail from, poppies are very seldom sold. It's, it's a more tendentious issue. It used to be highly controversial as recently as the 90s because of the Northern Ireland conflict. It no longer is. Um, so that is the poppy factory.